the two exciting celestial events, are coming up, first on October 14, 2023, there will be a solar eclipse sweeping across North America, Central America, and most parts of South America. It's been almost 11 years, since such an eclipse was visible from the United States, the second event is a partial lunar eclipse, which visible in some parts of Asia, Africa, Europe, Antarctica, and Oceania. So get ready, because in this video, we will tell you everything you need to know about watching these eclipses. Don't miss the chance to witness the amazing ring of fire, and Bailey's beads during the annular eclipse. An annular or solar eclipse happens, when the moon covers the center of the sun, leaving a radiant ring, which often called the ring of fire. This happens, because the moon appears smaller than the sun, due to its elliptical orbit around the earth. Observers along a narrow path can see the mesmerizing ring of fire, while others will see a partial solar eclipse. The cosmos is vast and precise, showing us the beauty of celestial alignments. During a solar eclipse, there is another fascinating aspect which is known as Bailey's beads. Just before the moon fully covers the sun, or as it starts moving away, the rough surface of the moon with its mountains, valleys, and craters, creates a captivating effect. The sunlight shines through these lunar irregularities, forming the bright spots, which known as Bailey's beads, resembling beads of light around the moon's edge. This effect was named after Francis Bailey, a British astronomer, who first described it in 1836, the most prominent bead often called the diamond ring, occurs when only one bright spot remains next to the sun's shimmering corona, resembling a diamond ring, which is a breathtaking sight for eclipse observers. On October 14, 2023, a solar eclipse will be visible across the entire U.S., but only eight U.S. states will witness the ring of fire during the annular or solar eclipse. This ring of fire will be seen within a 125-mile, or 200-kilometer wide path from the northwest of United States, through Central America to Brazil. If you were living in specific states like Southern Oregon, Northeastern California, Northern Nevada, Southern Utah, Southwest Colorado, Northeastern Arizona, New Mexico, or Texas, you will get the best view of this eclipse. To witness the ring of fire, position yourself at the center line of the eclipse path, for the longest duration of around 4 minutes and 52 seconds on the Texas coast. If you want to see something even more amazing and rare, you need to skip the full view of the ring of fire. Instead, you will go to the edge of the eclipse path to see a lopsided annulus, and Bailey's beads, these beads can also be seen at the center line, but just for a short moment. It's at the edge, where you can watch them, speed up and slow down for minutes before and after the maximum coverage, which is known as the grazing zone, usually, eclipse maps show a straight path, but the moon's bumpy surface makes the actual shape uneven, NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, helps map makers find this grazing zone on Earth, which spans about 3 kilometers. The annular eclipse will start in Oregon, at 9.13 a.m. Pacific Time, and end in Texas at 12.03 p.m. Central Daylight Saving Time, after that, it'll pass over Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, and Brazil. During the maximum annular eclipse, the moon will cover 91% of the solar disk. To watch this, always use proper safety equipment to watch the eclipse, as looking at it with bare eyes can harm your vision. This eclipse is followed by another eclipse about two weeks later, a partial lunar eclipse on October 28, 2023. This will be visible in Asia, Russia, Africa, Europe, Antarctica, and Oceania. The eclipse starts at 7.36 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time and ends at 8.53 p.m. In India, it begins at 1.06 a.m. on October 29 and ends at 2.23 a.m. 